This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, June 10th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the intense correction from the previous week is finally stalled out, and it shouldn't come as much of a surprise with the market rallying up to some key internal resistance in the 115 area. At this point, it's possible that we'll put in a lower top around 115 ahead of or ahead of 115 in favor of the next downside extension towards next key support at 110.98, below which exposes 108.23 further down. At this point, only a close back above 115 would negate this outlook and open the door for a fresh upside extension back towards a retest of the key 2016 high at 116.17. Sterling dollar. So cable has been trading within a consolidation over the past several days, confined to a range between 147.70 and 143.33. At this point, the market is favoring the downside while it re remains below 147.70, with the possibility for a break to below 143.33 to to open the door for fresh downside back towards next key support at 140, which guards against that seven-year low from earlier this year at 138.36. We would need to see a break back above 147.70 to officially shift the structure and suggest that the market has been putting in a medium-term base. Dollar yen. So dollar yen remains pressure to the downside with the market tracking all the way back down just shy of the recent May 2016 low at 105.55. The 2016 low from May at 105.55. If we see a break below that level, it will open the door for the next downside extension towards key support at 100. While at this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of the 109 area. Ultimately, though, we would need to see a break back below back above the previous lower top at 111.89 to negate the bearish outlook for dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has come back under pressure over the past several sessions and this puts the focus on a retest of the key base that comes in right around 108. At this point we should see some support into 108 given the intense setbacks that we've seen over the past several days that have resulted in daily studies starting to look a little bit stretched. If we did see a break below 108 this would suggest a more significant shift in the structure. Aussie dollar. So Aussie gains have stalled out this week with the market rallying all the way back up towards and just above 75 ahead of this latest pullback. At this point though, the rally has stalled out towards some key previous support now turn resistance and we could be looking for a lower top ahead of the next downside extension back towards those recent lows at 71.45. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is showing the possibility for a higher low above the key 2016 base at 2461 following a reversal day that we saw on Thursday. We would need to see a daily close back above the high from Thursday which came in around 2767 to strengthen this outlook and open the door for fresh upside back towards key recent resistance at 3189. A break above 3189 would then open the door for a move all the way up towards the 135 to 140 area. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has rallied back up to trade to some key previous medium term support now turn resistance just shy of 72 at around 71.76. Rallies extended to as high as 71.48 on Thursday, though the market has seen some minor setbacks since. Overall, the downtrend here on a weekly chart still remains bearish and we could be seeing a, a, a lower top ahead of the next major downside extension if the market can stay well capped below 72 uh, over the coming days. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is stalling out after breaking to a fresh 2016 high at 2121 this week, just shy of the record high from 2015 at 2133. But the pressure still remains on the top side and we would need to see a break back below 2085 at a minimum to take the pressure off the top side and open the door for uh, potential acceleration of declines, suggesting that we could see, be seeing still the formation of a major top. But while we hold below, while we hold above 2085, the pressure remains on the top side for an eventual break back above the record high at 2133. Gold. So gold has done a really good job over the past week showing just how well supported it is down towards 1200 with the market bouncing sharply this week back above 1270. At this point, the overall structure remains quite constructive with the market locked within a bit major bullish consolidation which eventually is seen broken above, breaking above the 2015 peak at 1307 and heading towards 1400 further up. Any setback should continue to be very well supported into the 1200 area with only a break back above key medium term previous resistance now turns support to negate that constructive outlook.